Scientific Tuesdays is brought to you by HostGator Web Hosting. Web hosting completely powered by green energy. On today's episode, we're going to be dealing with some modern day alchemy. Now, I'm not talking about turning lead into gold, as I think that was disproven years and years ago. No, what I'm talking about is electroplating. Electroplating is basically when you cover a surface with a thin layer of metal. Now to keep this simple so that you can try it at home, we're going to do it on a very basic level. So we're going to use vinegar, salt, and a battery. You might also want to go around your house and grab a couple coins. Let's dive right in. To start electroplating, we'll use half a cup of vinegar for this and just about a tablespoon of salt. Mix it all up and we've created a conductive solution which is going to let electricity flow freely. We're also gonna need a couple wires and a battery so that we can hook the wires up to the battery and run the charge through the solution itself. This is gonna help us with the electroplating process. Now you don't need coins, you can use any metal substance, but coins are fairly common and you probably have some right now. To make this process go a bit faster than usual, I'm actually gonna use a 1944 penny, which has 95% copper. Nowadays, pennies don't contain nearly as much copper as they did in the 40s, so this is going to give us a bit more to work with. But don't worry, modern pennies still have 2.5% copper plating and will work as well. But if you can, try and find a penny dated before 1982. Once you have your wires hooked up and in the glass, you're ready to go. Now we're gonna use the penny as an anode and basically once we drop it into the solution and apply a positive charge to it, it's going to dissolve a bit into the solution and allow us to send the current through to the cathode, which is going to be plated with the copper from the penny itself. So just to clarify, put the copper to the positive point and put the item you want plated on the negative point. Once you hook up the positive and negative ends to your coins, you're gonna notice that bubbles will form on the negative end. This is actually hydrogen gas being generated. Now what we're essentially doing is dissolving the copper into the solution and then transferring it over to the quarter. Now vinegar is really not that strong of an acid, so it's going to take a while to dissolve the copper in there. That's why we use electricity to help the process along a little bit. After about six minutes, the quarter's developed a nice copper sheen to it. Now if you keep your coin in too long, what's going to happen is that there's not going to be enough copper dissolved in the solution and it'll end up becoming black. Check this out. After keeping the quarter hooked up for about 10 extra minutes on 6 volts, you'll notice that a black sheen appears around the quarter. This is unfortunate, but you can alleviate it by using a smaller voltage on your battery. Try just a standard 1.5 volt battery. It is going to take longer, but keep your eyes on it and you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, so the quarter's done. Let's go ahead and try it with a 50 cent piece. Starting fresh and going with some more dissolved copper in there. I let it sit about an additional 30 minutes before doing this. When we take it out after about six minutes, you'll notice that it's got a beautiful copper coating on it. Now, if you want to save this and, you know, keep it around to show off to your friends, put it in some saran wrap and let it dry for a while. You want to make sure that all the copper adheres to the coin itself. But if you touch it immediately, the coating may come off, depending on what sort of substance you're applying it to. So the rule of thumb is to let it dry while touching it as minimally as possible. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed turning your quarters into pennies. I certainly did. As always, I want to thank our sponsor this week, HostGator. If you want a blog or website up and running in minutes, HostGator can hook it up. The servers are 130% powered by wind energy, unlimited disk space and bandwidth is yours, 45 day money back guarantee, and $100 in Google AdWords credit to market your site. And just for being a Scientific Tuesdays viewer, HostGator will give you 25% off your order or your first month free. Just go to HostGator.com and enter the code SCIENTIFICTUESDAY at the checkout. Is your favorite show on the internet Scientific Tuesdays?